Hello, Luba here. Uh, welcome to my series. For those of you who don't know me, I've been a makeup artist for over 25 years and I've learned so much. So today I mainly want to teach you how to save time and uh, mostly what not to do to save your product as well. So um, you start with a little bit of skincare. I do recommend when you apply your creams and serums, always go upwards. On the side, you can use your left hand for the right side and the right hand for the left side. Just go in that motion and basically not going this way because we're trying to fight gravity, so everything should go up. In the center, you should go to the sides a little bit under the eye, go uh, from the outside and on the bottom, and then continue in the circular motion and use a little bit. Um, if you have a T-zone that it's oily, don't even put any cream there. You'll be totally fine, trust me. So um, I really like that nice contoured, young, trendy look. Well, we don't have time to use so many products and uh, we don't have that many skills either, most of us, of course. So one of my favorite things is to create that contour just by highlighting more. This is a liquid highlighter, one of my favorites. It's a matte highlighter by Benefit, it's called Shy Beam. And you can use just a um, contour palette with like the lightest color to use creamy texture because before you put your foundation, this will look nicer. It will um, kind of blend itself in a little faster. Again, it will save you time. So just do it on the um, higher point of the, the cheekbone, which is what the light hits first. It's like right in here. So you can easily locate that. You can blend it with your fingers, with a sponge, with um, with a brush, just anything you like. And then you can apply a little more. So this is the most important part of contouring. It's really highlighting that area. Uh, I'll keep blending it later, so I want you to kind of memorize the location of it. Another favorite thing of mine, it's instead of contouring the nose, just basically highlighting it straight line again you can use your uh, contour palette or just a light concealer to do that just dab the color in nicely I always like to put a little bit on my 11 line here as well just to plump that if you have lines on your forehead of course you can do that you can do it a little bit in here so that will kind of uh, help with like just a little lift and uh, what I also like to do is to put a cream blush before the foundation. I have here, mm, it's a um, RMS. It's um, cream blush, but also lip color in the color Modest. So you really don't want too much pink or whatever your color um, of choice is to go all the way up. So just go on the apples a little bit. Why I like to do that is because when you put your foundation on top, the colors, the liquid colors, just from the warmth of your skin will blend in nicely and it will look very, very natural. Uh, it will look like a natural flush. So don't laugh at my face. Trust me, it will work miracles. So I'm uh, a little tan from the sun right now, but I still see a lot of discoloration under my eyes and um, we're going to target that in a different video, but I'm just going to put it on really quickly and I don't like to overdo it, but I definitely want to cover the dark um, on the inside corner and then just kind of go down into that dark line because the skin in the middle tends to be light and um, I don't want to cover that. I just want to use... Um, whatever's left over on my beauty blender here to blend it out and it kind of gets into that contour here we go done look at the difference wow so i did that one by one for the reason that you've noticed probably if you use a little bit of concealer or foundation and you put it on the different spots and then until you get to blend it, something something happens. It's what happens is makeup tends to kind of um, bond with the skin when you put it on. And if you wait before you blend it, 
what happens is half of it is dry and then you try to rub it and some of them comes off so try to do it like with smaller areas that's exactly what i'm going to do with my foundation as well so um using becca and this is the ultimate coverage complexion cream it's great for my oily skin um, again i see a lot of you use their fingers so I'm gonna use my fingers as well, but if you wanna use a sponge or a brush, that's totally fine. And you can see, I'm just gonna apply a little bit, blend it. And I'm not gonna do a few dots here, a few dots there. I'm just gonna do little by little because uh, again, I don't think you're gonna get like a smooth effect if you just wait for that little foundation to set look how beautiful everything looks continue just fading it towards the uh hairline you trust me you don't need foundation all the way there just by like fading it almost like below the hollow of your cheekbone you know down you really don't need more foundation in there um what it's also good to know is that lighter skin um, usually have more discoloration at the center. Darker skin tones have uh, a little bit of darkness on the perimeter. So what that means, you need more coverage uh, on the center for lighter skin. And then you just need to even out better. See, I'm going everywhere in here. Um, with the darker skin complexion, not lightening the center too much. not to press what happens when you press actually you spread it uh, very uneven and the short strokes help you to apply it evenly because if you do a long stroke you actually drag like more makeup here than less in here and it's it, it doesn't look even so if you learn the right techniques even if it's like a brush or a sponge you get more even application Oop, i missed a spot it's my forehead if something doesn't look perfect it's because i'm using my phone for a mirror but here you go you're done with your application make sure you don't put in your eyebrows and it's better to do little by little rather than trying to do it all at once you know rubbing because the more you rub the more you're going to start taking it off again you apply a little bit of foundation it bonds with the skin moves with your skin so if you tend to rub it more and more you start taking it off and it looks uneven you can see how beautiful my contour and blush looks and this is this is just what i put on what you saw me i didn't pause for anything so now to give um a little more intensity of course we can be done with this um, you can put powder, you can skip powder, it all depends. I'm just going to dab a little bit of powder, um, loose powder, on the T-zone. I'm going to use a brush. And um, again, your tool, it's your personal choice. This is one of those um, double bristle brushes, so it's a little thinner but fluffy. And I'm just going to press a little bit of the powder right where I need it. And if the concealer is too much and too heavy under the eye, I just blot with a tissue. I blot the excess. Uh, this way you don't pile too much because if you pile too much concealer inevitably from just like moving your face and your facial expressions, it will um, start to, to crease. You can let the first layer of concealer, that's if you need more coverage, uh, you can let the first layer of concealer sink in and then put an extra layer, dab it on top, and then uh, put a little bit of powder. But again, we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna cover that in another video. So um, I can be out the door, or I can simply add a little bit more of my cream blush. It could be the same cream blush. It could be um, um, a different texture. Like I have one of those uh, Chic Heat from Maybelline. It's wonderful. I'm gonna use my um, my beauty blender just to keep that glow into my skin that I wanted to save anyway so just dab it a little bit in there you can see what we had on before um, it kind of sipped through a little bit the foundation so I don't look pale or sallow 
which is the purpose of applying blush. And uh, here we go. You can see that I didn't contour, but I can use my bronzer to accentuate my cheekbones. And uh, if I want more highlighter, I can do either cream highlighter again on top or just use powder. This is uh, by Fenty Beauty. Mm, I'm just gonna use like a smaller head brush, also fluffy. I love to layer um, matte and shine. This way the shine, it's actually um, brighter. And um, what I did, I used a matte highlighter here first, which was creamy, which could be a concealer. And then when you put the shiny one, it just stands out more. You can see how beautiful that looks already. And of course you can highlight anywhere you like. Keep it all um, to the highest point of the points of the face. So highlighting actually gives um, a very nice effect of the of the contour. And um, again, if we have that extra second, we can add a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use just like a, um, it's not even a big brush, it's like a soft blush brush. This one it's uh, by NAR. It's incredible. And I'll just do like a little bit right in here, fading it in, fading it out a little bit. Here we go. Just go lightly over the blush, a little bit on the temples. So this one, it's not a contour, but it saves so much time if you don't have time to contour in the morning. And just right in here where we can see the first signs of our skin sagging. Here we go. This is it. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I love questions from clients. Again, that's how I've learned so much. And um, I hope I helped you today. So keep watching. Bye.